up, Eric? How are you? How's it going, man? Long time no see. How's it going, buddy? Good, you? Good. Awesome. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm here at Starbucks with my good friend Eric Esparza. We are actually just getting him started. He was one of my winners on my free uh, online coaching giveaways. And so we're gonna just go through a few topics. He's gonna ask me some questions because he's gonna be filming a documentary. And we're just gonna get into it. What should somebody consider when uh, going into a transformation program? I would say that the individual should make sure that they know their goals and whether or not they are trying to develop a healthier lifestyle or if they're just looking for a short term fix. Are there certain aspects of a transformation program that are more important than others? What would you say are like the building blocks, the, the necessities of a transformation program? Um, I'd say the building blocks, the necessities of a transformation program are having um, documentation so documentation is super important so you want to have before pictures and you want to have after pictures and then you want to have pictures all throughout as well so you can kind of see the gradual change happening With, yeah right which yeah. people that's kind of nerve-wracking you know For you're sure. putting yourself out, out there, there with pictures yeah. right and what's crazy is is developing a healthy healthier lifestyle it gives you a newfound sense of confidence so that insecurity that you may feel at the beginning when you take that first initial picture it's nerve-wracking yeah but then by the end of the program you're like dang I did this and so it, you feel confident and you have a sense of pride with that and I need to be able to make changes to your diet and your exercise routine based off of those changes right, right. before hiring a trainer I would make sure that you kind of check into their credibility and make sure that they're educated or they have good experience so you know whether they have like a bachelor's in like biology or nutrition or something right. or if they're a doctor or a nutritionist yeah. or just experience in general there's some people some coaches that have no degree per se but have like just a streamline of clients who have had extreme successes with whether that's just body transformations, uh, competing, you know, turning like pro and like you know men's physique or bikini competitions or anything like that. Right. Um, but I would say credibility is important, and then I would say making sure before you hire a coach, you are ready for that investment and that you are ready for that commitment. Because once you give out that money to the coach, you know you're dedicated and. You don't want to be paying for something that you're not reaping rewards from. So. Exactly. And I, I know, you know, if, you know, by just signing a contract, I know I, I'm a winner of your, your free uh, transformation program, but just signing a contract is like, okay. This is serious. Exactly. Right. Absolutely. Um, and I'm assuming, you know, if somebody signs up for a program and they're spending, uh, X amount of dollars a month, you know, they're probably going to help hold themselves much more accountable. Yes. Yep. So, I have a goal, and basically, I need to gain some muscle and lose some fat because I'm going to be playing kind of like a strongman uh, monster mm -hmm. in an upcoming uh, independent film, cool. and uh, I need to I need to look the part. Um, you know, you see it in movies all the time, right? You see these amazing transformations. Right. Most of those guys will typically run something, run type of some type of steroid or something. We're gonna take a more healthy approach, and we're not gonna do any of that stuff. So, basically, what I have you on is all whole foods, right. and supplementing that with workouts and cardio should bring you your goals that you're looking for. So it's going to be broken down into a science. Right. Right. And the whole foods will allow you to pack on the muscle that you need and the cardio and the workout, um, the fast pacedness of the workouts, the supersets, uh, the drop sets, all that will help you shed body fat all while building muscle. Day one is going to start soon. Yep. So your diet and exercise will begin on Monday. And the way I have your workout structured is instead of doing Monday workout, Tuesday workout, Wednesday workout, I split it into days one through six. And so you get the flexibility of choosing which day you want to uh, take as your off day per se. Because like we have discussed previously, you know, uh, everybody's Monday is different. Right. So everybody's schedule is different. So I like giving my clients that flexibility. So 
I need to do some prep work. It's, it's a total lifestyle change in the fact that you're not going home and you're cooking, or you're not going home and uh, you're, you're eating potato chips or right. whatever, and then you know, kind of grazing and then eating dinner or, or whatever. Right. Um, go into that a little bit. You know, obviously the meal prep is going to be a huge part of your success. So, you know, for me, I like to meal prep for like three or four days at a time. Otherwise, you just have all this food just laying around and it could potentially go bad. So meal prepping is going to become, uh, hopefully, you know, something, a part of your life that you, uh, a habit that you develop because that's going to make your success all that much easier. Um, instead of having to cook everything, you know, yeah. every day, you just prep everything for like three or four days at one time. So that way you can just grab it, weigh it out, and then eat it. Um, and then eating five times a day is also going to be a change into your lifestyle that a lot of people may not have because a lot of people, you know, some people skip breakfast, you know, might just eat lunch and dinner and eat two meals a day. You're going to be going against the grain in that sense and you're going to be doing five, eating five times a day, you know, boosting that metabolism with all those separate meals and those kinds of things. Exactly. You know, working with you is going to kind of make challenge me to take that next step. I'd say the first two weeks are always the hardest because you're developing those habits like we've been talking about. Like somebody that's not used to meal prepping, you know, all of a sudden now they have to sit down exactly. for like an hour or two hours and prep all the meals for the week, you know, or, you know, someone's not used to going to the gym six times a week and they've been going like three times, you know, and they have to get used to going, waking up and making time for that. Yeah. Or, you know, they're, they're used to grazing throughout the day and snacking on things and so now they have a structured meal plan and they're like, okay, I have to eat five or six times a day, you know, so I'd say getting into those routines the first two weeks is always the, the most difficult for people just because it's something that they're completely new to. What, are, what do people act like when, when they're done with the program? What kind of, what things have you seen? What have you they, they are a lot more knowledgeable. It's not just a short-term fix for my clients. Like I really want to educate and I want you to know like throughout the program why we're doing specific things. You know, if I decide to like take a more keto approach, like I want to let you know, you know, like why we're doing that. Right. So um, my goal has always been to educate along the whole ride. So not just giving you a diet and being like, peace out. You know, yeah, like educating yeah. you and keeping you informed on what we're doing. What do you do when you go to a restaurant? Do you, you know, you, you said that you you compete. Right. Do you order, how, how does that work? So being on competition prep, I like to pretty much make everything that I can myself at my house and meal prep everything, just go to the grocery store. Um, because I know exactly what's being put into it, you know. Um, if you go out to a restaurant and you ask for no butter, sometimes they'll substitute it with oil. So then you'll get those added fats into your meal that you don't need or you're not looking for. I don't normally like to eat out a lot on prep for those reasons. In terms of being off of competition prep, just like in a regular off season, um, I like to use the app, My Fitness Pal. And so pretty much every restaurant you go to will have their nutrition facts listed on it. So if your macros for the day are like, 200 protein, 150 carb, you know, and 50 fat, you know, you can pretty much just log that into the app. Okay. Eating out on off season is a lot easier than on prep, just Obviously. because you're prepping for a show. Yeah, so. I mean, you have to be on point, right? You, yeah. I mean, you don't want to get on stage or, right. you know, and, and think, dang, I shouldn't have had that, uh, right. those enchiladas, <laughs> you know? Yep. All right, well, um, I'm excited to get started. Honestly, I'm excited to change your life. I'm excited to help you develop those habits and get into shape for your awesome role. So, awesome. Thanks, buddy. No problem, dude. All right. All right, guys, me and Eric just finished up our meeting. We talked a little bit about um, the plans for his coaching, answered some of his questions, and started his documentary. So make sure you stay on the lookout for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a like. Comment down below if you have any questions. And if you have any questions and you want to get your own coaching started, go ahead and email me. My uh, email address will be below. Subscribe for more, fam. Peace out.